Hey everyone and welcome back. So in our last video, we touched upon like building a product page and we created something pretty quickly and we did it really well, I think, especially for a first pass. You're never gonna nail it on the first try. So I think we did really great here. We have reviews, we have like all the product information, we have different ways to get them back into the product funnel and we have our navigation. So I'm going to actually create a new frame and oops, I keep on doing that. Do not know why, bad habit, I guess. I really wanna think about the cart. Okay, so for the cart, you know, maybe there are navigations there. I mean, we could have it. Actually, I don't know if we should have it, but let's just keep it for now. We'll uh, we'll definitely iterate on this. So if we have something in our cart, maybe we'll have like a notification so we can add like something small here, like red. I'm just gonna throw this on top. That's cool, I love it. You know, I often don't think, especially for something like this, I'm not sure if you like, you need a badge that shows the amount of items in your cart or anything like that, but I think it's, it's pretty cool to have like a, just a little notification or badge there that is just red and it just uh, reminds the user, hey, you got something in your cart, buddy. You should probably buy it. So for cart, I'm going to give this a title. I'm just gonna call my cart. So I'm gonna call it my cart and uh, that is the title of the page right now. Let's apply our grid just so we have something to work with. Awesome. So we have our cart title. Okay, so let's think about the different types of things we're gonna have in this cart here. We're gonna have our items. So we're gonna take that. Let's just copy that into here. So we're gonna have our items. This is definitely gonna, I think it's gonna be a little different. So there won't be a heart. At this point, we want to get them into purchasing an item as quickly as possible. So probably like that. Let's look at our icons. Like maybe we'll get like a garbage can. And I'll show you what I'm thinking right now. Trash. Okay, we're gonna have to go searching for that. So icons. No, I'm looking for a garbage can because what I do want to build is like a little add remove kind of thing where they can add more items to their cart if they want to buy doubles or you know, it really depends. Some items you may want to buy more than one. So mm -hmm. there it is, garbage. I love it. Perfect. Just gonna detach this. Gonna remove the group. So there's a garbage can. And I want a, a plus button. Oh, that's there's the minus button. There's the plus button. So something like that. I'm gonna detach this and break up the group. Shift Command G will break up that group. So I have that, perfect, okay. So I'm just turning off my grid so I can get a better look at this. So if there's uh, one item, I think like we should just like give them the option to add or remove that item. Let's just resize that. I think like that's gonna be fine for now. Let's bold this. So it's 16 bold. Okay. So we have something here. Oops. So we're just going to align that and we can. Okay, so there's our product, maybe if we have a second product, it looks something like that. And you know, maybe we can, where's the remove? Delete. You can do something like this. So if there's more than one product, 
So these are the types of interactions I'm thinking about a lot, especially in the beginning. It's better to start thinking about them earlier than later. So perfect. Okay, so there is our adding and removing. Let's just group that for now, grouping them, bringing them up. Okay, so we have that. I think we need some more information, maybe like cart total. So we can like just start grabbing some stuff here that we've used in the past. Cart total. And we're just going to shrink this. Perfect. I don't think this needs to be like 20. It could be something smaller, like a 16 bold. Let's get that perfect. And, and we can have the cart total on the right. So it's gonna be $75. Okay. You know, maybe there's like address information. There we go, we have some address. Deliver to Leslie. And the information. So if you wanna get some quick information, another great plugin is Content Reel. So let's just bring that up uh, next. You know, you can get names, you can get avatars, icons. So many different things. You don't even need to sign in. I'm just going to get an address. So there it is. Just gave me a random US address and that's perfect. This we can bump down in size, uh, maybe like a 12, maybe a 14, a little hard to read. Okay, so there we go. We got an address easily. And I think like that's pretty much it. We're gonna probably need Let's think, what else would we need? We will need a button to check out. So primary, button, there we go. Uh, perfect. So we are definitely thinking about like the hierarchy over here. You know, my assumption right now is people want to see the items in their cart and then maybe some other items afterwards. I'm not even sure if this is actually useful right now, but I think maybe it's good to like give them a heads up of like, hey, is this you? Is this who we're going to deliver to? Maybe it's something worth checking out and we can ask our users what they expect and if it's something that kind of surprises them, maybe they'll like it, maybe they won't, and we can definitely make changes based off of that. So we have checkout, we're gonna definitely need this. Some other things I'm thinking about also is like, some things that I have been thinking about, I don't know if I want a navigation in the card screen. Maybe it's best to kind of like make a sticky checkout button rather than a navigation because we want to get them checking out much more quicker. So something that we need to also explore. I think uh, we can even use this maybe like in this screen. This is another assumption of mine as well. Like maybe if they don't want to check out right away, they're just looking at their cart. Maybe there's another way to kind of push them into the funnel once again. Okay, so this is a basic card screen. Like your card screen doesn't need to be like complex. It could just show just some images in terms of like the items that the user has purchased or has added to their cart. Definitely the total needs to be there and there needs to be some sort of button to push them into the actual checkout process. You know, this is all optional. I'm not sure if this is actually useful. Same with like this. I'm not sure yet but I've seen this a couple of times before. 
So I'm not sure exactly if these are going to work, but we are definitely going to iterate based off of the type of feedback we get. So I want you to kind of take a stab at the rest of the screens that you feel are really necessary. Things like cart, things like a wish list, maybe. What does the search look like when we wireframe it? You know, have fun with it. I mean, think about the different types of content that will be on each page. Think about that hierarchy when you're actually laying it all out. If you need a grid, it's so easy to create one. So go ahead and do that. You don't necessarily need one, especially at this stage, but it helps keep things consistent in terms of like when you're starting to think about laying it out. And uh, yeah, definitely just keep on building those wireframes and test them. Don't just stick with one set and then, you know, forget about it because I know that I'm going to have to change this. I've, I've already accepted that fact because it is a fact. I mean, we're definitely never going to get anything right on the first try. So go out there, test your assumptions and make those changes and test again to ensure that you're doing the right thing. And that's it for wireframes. I hope you all learned a lot and I hope you've seen like this component library will definitely speed up your workflow. So go out there and create some wireframes and have fun.